Hey, it's time to dish with D. That's me. We're going to go OG today here. I'm going to do some two ingredient dough bagel buns. I have done this before, but I'm not sure if I've done this this way because I make them a little bit different now. So I thought, you know, I'm, I'm going to make them. Let's film it because everybody asked, D, how do you make your two ingredient dough? Which mine is actually four ingredient dough. So let's come along. I just got up. You see, I have some sheet marks because I need to make my bagel bun this morning. Yes, I do make buns, not bagels, because honestly, a few years ago, I figured, why am I killing myself rolling it? Plop them bad boys on a sheet, much easier. And there's no hole for my avocado to fall through. Sometimes, I don't know, I impress myself. So let's get started because this girl wants a bagel this morning. All right, in my bowl, I call this my two ingredient dough bowl. This is what I always use. I'm like, you want to use the green bowl, D? I used to try to use the glass bowl, but this is my bowl that I do two ingredient dough in, so I'm kind of used to this. So your hands are perfectly clean because we just washed them because we might have to touch it. So in here I have a cup of all-purpose flour. You can use wheat flour, ever flour. I'm just using regular all-purpose white. And to that, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of baking powder, and one teaspoon of Saf Instant Yeast. You heard it right, I add yeast to mine. I like the flavor that yeast gives. And it gives a little extra oomph, if you know what I'm saying. I add a heaping half cup of non-fat Greek yogurt. Now I like to drain mine a little bit so it's not quite as wet. We'll dump that in. You're like, Dee, you're supposed to add a whole cup of yogurt. Well, that may be true, but we're gonna add something else wet. What my makes my bagels three ingredient dough. The incredible edible egg. I love, love, love the texture and flakiness and lightness that this egg gives us. So we're gonna throw that in there. And also, I'm going to put in some fresh rosemary, but I'm not gonna put that in right yet. Right yet, I'm going to mix this a little bit. I'm thinking maybe I should chop it before I mix, so this way my hands are free. We should do that. I'm grab a knife. Yeah, because I might get my hands dirty, then I don't wanna do chopping, so. It's gonna chop. This is fresh rosemary from my herb garden. You could use dried. Remember, everything will be listed on dishwithd.com. Has your place for your written recipes. Remember my blog, dishwithd.org. I know it's confusing. Has all my older recipes. So, until we transition over completely, we are going to have both. Now, let me just throw that in. Why not? You know, it's not going to hurt anything. So fresh. If you've never used rosemary in your two ingredient bagels, <gasps> the smell is intoxicating. All right. So we're gonna, this is, you're going to see how I mix my two ingredient dough. No muss, no fuss, because you know what? I got stuff to do. I can't be in here worrying about bagel dough all day. People, I got stuff to do. So I'm just going to get it all. Combined. You're gonna see how fast mine come together because, yeah, I don't mix. You know, this people worry too much about the two ingredient dough. It's like, oh, you know, it, no, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's yours. And you can even add in a few more teaspoons of flour if you need to. It's not gonna add any points. People are so worried about, oh, it's gonna add a point. Nah, you're good. Sorry about the banging. I gotta get a wood cutting board, I think. Hold on, let me go grab. Here comes the fun part. Spray your hands, or uh, let's do my hand, with some nonstick spray and just have it. Like I said, no muss, no fuss. I'm not sitting here kneading this. Just getting it till it forms a dough. 
and that's what we have. Hot. So put this here. And we'll press it out. And to the best of our ability, we're going to divide it into four. No, I am not going to be exact because you know what? I'm going to be the best as I can. It's fine. It's going to be, you're going to eyeball because if you have less one day, you'll have more one day. It all works out in a week. That's how I look at it. Okay. And we just make them flatten them a little bit. Yeah, they could be triangular. It's your bagel bun. And you just put them, or you can get fancy if you want to roll them. Pat them down like that. Like I said, no muss, no fuss. This is the no muss, no fuss channel because if you're going to fuss, you're not going to want to make them. That's how I look at it. I keep things easy because if it's hard, I'm not going to do it. I'm just not a better thing to do. Let's just redo. We don't want a triangle bagel, do we? Let me go clean up. All right, we have our four buns. Now you could do an egg wash, but here I go. I'm cheap. I wouldn't use up the whole. Egg with four, if I was making a double or triple batch, maybe I would. So I just go old OG and use some spray. If I had butter flavor, I would use that. I think that would, that helps. This would help them brown. My uh, air fryer's preheated at 400. I have an oven air fryer versus one of those um, basket air fryers. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of dried rosemary on top to amp up the fresh rosemary we have on the inside. But you don't wanna forget, in case you have them in the freezer, Oh, what kind of bagels were these? I don't remember what kind I made. You made rosemary bagels. So, I put these in my air fryer. They're going to bake. I'm going to try baking them for 20 minutes. That's usually my thing. I do not need to flip them. So, when I come back, I will show you the beautifulness of my two ingredient bagel buns. All right, they baked for 18 minutes. I mean, look at the height on these bad boys. They are perfect. See, I didn't have to flip them. Perfect. Every time. I they I can't make I can't mess these up. And again, no hole, so nothing's getting through. No muss, no fuss. You saw how easily I mixed it. I didn't sit there and knead it. You don't need to. You don't. So maybe I'll show you my sandwich that I'm going to make. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a sandwich or avocado toast. Or maybe a sandwich with avocado in it. Let's just do it that way. I'm gonna cook an egg up. I'm gonna put a piece of Canadian bacon, a little avocado. We're gonna have ourselves. Oops, let me go get that. We're gonna have ourselves a sandwich. It fell right on the box under the tripod. So, yep, I mean, look at the height on these. They're just stunning. And the rosemary, oh. You could put anything you want. You could put your, everything about the bagel. You could, whatever, Italian seasonings. You could make these sweet. I have a video for pumpkin ones. I added some pumpkin in there. I remember to link that. I know where the heck it is because it might be in a live. I don't know. I think, I think I have it. I will link it in there. Um, like I said, sweet or savory. They go either way. This It's all dependent on what you put in there. I like the egg. I like the yeast. If you don't, that's not your jam. That's not your jam, but that's. You know, but playing with stuff like this and doing it for so long, I've been making bagels like this probably since 2016 when I was on Smart Points. We started that. That's when Two Ingredients Yolk came to fruition. I was like, oh my gosh, you can make dough with yogurt and self-rising flour. And again, you don't have to use self-rising flour. You can you get your own. All you need to add is your teaspoon of baking powder and your half a teaspoon of salt. You can use wheat flour, any flour you want. I prefer actually so I don't know why, I think I wanted to use up, that was the end of my white flour, so I wanted to use that up, but I have in there, which I got at Sprouts, whole wheat pastry flour. So if whole wheat's not your jam, try the, I think it's Bob's Red Mill, the whole wheat pastry flour. It's hard to find, it's not easy. Like 
Whole Foods might have it, Sprouts, you know, places like that. I don't think your regular supermarket will have whole wheat pastry flour, but it's, it's just lighter and it makes for a nice light bagel bun. So let's go make my sandwich and we will taste it because I'm a share around here. But yep, OG, tuna burrito dough bagel buns done, dish of D style. Hello, just forgot to mention the points because I mean, I kind of figure you know the points, but I'll say them anyway. On the blue and purple plan, these are three points each. On the green, I believe they are four points each. They're one extra point, I believe. Give or take. I don't know. I don't follow green, but that's a word on the street. Um, so yeah, let me go make my eggs. Cut one of these. We'll toast it. The smell. The smell. I mean, it's perfect. Like I said, you saw no must, no fuss. So if you're on WW, you need to be making these. If you're not on WW, you need to be making these. My family scarfs them down. So they're a winner winner. And what I do to store them, if I make a double, even if I make four, because I don't want to have them every day. Again, I get, I don't want to get tired of anything. So I kind of, you know, I will wrap them in saran wrap. I will not cut them because you don't want any air to get in the middle and get it any kind of, you know, freezer burnt. Wrap them whole, put them in a, a freezer bag, zip it up and put it in your freezer. So then I would I do the night before if I know I'm going to have it. I will take it out. I'll leave it on the counter or the refrigerator. It's either or. And the next morning I cut it and I toast it and it's perfection. Perfection. They're just great. And I, I can't stress enough how these have helped me in my journey because this, my friends, is better than anything you're ever going to eat. You know, and people say, oh, I buy the bagels. That bagel company in California, I can't think of what they call it off the top of my head. But, you know, you can get a you know bagel for really low points. I prefer the taste of these and I just do and they're honestly the way that I make them no must no fuss because yeah you could sit there you can knead it you could sit there and make it into a bagel shape but why you saw how easy it came together I did it in real time so no must no fuss let's go get to toasty this bad boy and scramble up some eggs and get that avocado mashed because I'm having breakfast but I'd show you the inside because you know often get to see a beautiful bagel from the inside oh, look at that I mean I'm telling you between the egg and the yeast it's insane I can't I can't I'm just gonna like squeal with delight so we go toast this bad boy up and get my eggs done all right I have my two ingredient bagel bun toasted I have 1.1 ounces of avocado in my world, that's zero. I mean, it's one. <laughs> it's 1.1. I don't point up till it's maybe like 1.7. But this is 1.1. That's a lot of avocado for one point. I have one slice of, I have, oh, Trader Joe's citrusy garlic on top because it's my fave. One slice of Canadian bacon for zero. And I have some scrambled eggs for zero on the blue and purple. And two on the green plan. Well, it's actually four. It's actually two small eggs. Um, our friend of ours has chickens and she gave my husband some eggs. So they're very tiny because they're just the beginning. So there's two eggs here, but I'm counting it as one if I was on green because it's not that big. So here is my breakfast. This is four smart points on blue and purple. Four plus two would be six on the green plan. No, seven. I thought I should wait for the big one. So yep, this is my breakfast. I cannot wait to dig in. Look at the crust on that bun and we're gonna top it. So let me tell you something. This is your sandwich on a weight loss journey for four smart points. Extremely well spent. I cannot wait to dig in. If you are not making your own bagels, please, please do Dish With D a favor and make them and comment below after you do and say, you were right D, these are phenomenal because they are. Come up and say goodbye. There we go. So yeah, this is my breakfast this morning. This is how I eat on a plan. So if you're interested in joining my new Facebook, well, it's not really new, my Facebook group, Dish With These Crew, we are doing a September challenge. It is called Just Follow The Plan. GFP, hashtag it GFP, Just Follow The Plan. That's all I'm asking. I'm not asking you to do anything special. I'm not asking you to do anything extra. I'm asking you just to follow the plan because that's how you eat like this by just following the plans. So if, if you want to join us, join the Facebook group, cost you nothing, 
And if you enjoyed this video, you know you should give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, let me know why. Is it you just don't want to subscribe to any YouTube channels? It could be. But if you're not subscribed, there's a subscribe button and there's a bell. The bell is extremely important because it lets you know when I upload and when I go live. I go live a lot here for fun stuff like this. So you don't you want you don't want to miss that. You want to get notified when oh my god, she's going live. She's going to make something. You want to be part of that. So thank you for watching. I want old school G today, old school on a bagel because sometimes you just need to go old school. Thanks for watching. We will dish another day, folks. I'm going to eat my breakfast.